May 1st, 2010 will stand as a day I will remember, my wife will remember, and many people in the Nashville area will remember. On this day, I worked a really long day in Cookville, Tennessee, working a money truck for Loomis. As we was heading home, the real bad rainstorm started to occur. I mean, it was zero visibility. I couldn't see anything outside of my window as I looked out the door. So I gave my wife a call to find out if everything was okay in Murfreesboro, where we was living at the time. And as we conversed, she explained to me that there were tornadoes and there was a lot of flooding hitting certain areas in which we lived around. So I conversed with the driver to see if he can speed up so we can head on. But he informed me that he couldn't see and that we were actually in the middle of what was a tornado at the time. Fast forward to making it back to the branch and me putting the money inside the vault, I head towards Murfreesboro. Heading down Interstate 24, I come upon exit 57. When I reach exit 57, there are lots of cars uh, lined up. And then as we go closer to exit 59, I look over to what you just saw as a baseball field. That baseball field was covered with water. And when, when I looked over there, I noticed that the birds in that area were acting some type of way. They were going really sporadic. So those actions caused me to ask my wife, what river is in Antioch in which she returned to me? There is no river in Antioch. Once my wife told me that there was no river in Antioch, I knew it was only a matter of time before that water was going to come on to the interstate. So quickly, I got out of the car and I knocked on the window of the person next to me and I started to explain to them what I saw and what I knew what was coming for us. So we went around to as many cars as we can. Some people did not want to exit their vehicles and other people were willing to help and we created a path for everyone to follow and go through to head back towards exit 57. And some people decided to stay in their cars. I guess they wanted, they wanted to wait it out, but I was explaining to them about the water coming onto the interstate. As I continued to explain to people about this water that would claim this interstate in a matter of time, the water started to sprinkle towards my feet and I got in the car and I started to head through the path that we had created. As I'm heading down the path, the water became higher and actually started to raise towards my back window. As it got towards my back window, my car started to stall. So I started pushing on the gas, like, come on, come on. And as I pushed on the gas, the car picked up speed and I made it out of there just before the water claimed the interstate. The water was just over the road, but Charlie, you said that, that this building, building is moving. Oh, well, they're scanning around, but there's a building in the river wow. that is actually floating in the river. Uh, you can see, too, how deep the uh, water is on the cars. When they zoom back out, As you see, uh, hopefully we don't have uh, control this over this area. camera. Yeah, this but, is a TDOT camera right yeah. now that they use for interstate traffic, and you can see the, the debris over the roads, and you can see the cars uh, through the road. Uh, it, 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 they pull out, hopefully they'll pull back out in a second, but we were watching a building that I think is the field over near a lighthouse, and that uh, building was moving. Yes, it was. It was definitely moving, and you can see how serious the flooding is. You can see the current. You can see the number of cars. Now, the hopefully field, they'll pan, they're, they're going to pan back to the right. You can see field, uh, how deep the water is. This is Interstate 24 water, at Bell Road, and Mill Creek in this area has uh, obviously uh, serious flooding is an understatement, but uh, just a moment ago on a wide shot, and hopefully they'll go here. Okay, looking to the right, 
There's the building. There's the building. Yeah, look building, at how this building is this moving. This building is wow. moving. So we've the, got uh, buildings running into cars at this particular point. Nine years later, and sitting here home. watching this video, I'm still astounded by what I see. I'm still astounded by what I see. It's crazy that all of that happened. Right behind it's crazy Lighthouse that Christian all of that happened. But uh, you've got this Probably building that basically is just floating. Or an hour uh, yeah, it could have been a concession stand down there right for the soccer field, but it's got hope, and I believe that that's from just Lighthouse by. Christian. So that's amazing. While we watch this video, we do have Chief Shannon, I believe, with the uh, Fire Department of Metro Nashville. And, and Chief, as we, as we watch this, this is amazing. What kind of the reports are you getting from around the area? Well, uh, quite, um, you know, when you see this much water, uh, the service is certainly being taxed, uh, but we are responding to all of the uh, requests uh, to the best of our ability. What you're seeing on I-24 is, is, is like a lake, uh, and it developed very quick. We have working with the police department shut down and from Hickory Hollow Parkway that lake uh, to Briley developed. Parkway. Uh, it's very yeah, interesting that people will continue to try to drive through what appears to be a lake. And it doesn't take very much water uh, to cause you to, um, uh, to lose control or, in this case, uh, as you can see, uh, Remember what I just are, mentioned. Uh, it doesn't take very much covered, water. Uh, uh, with water. That was only yeah, you can see that's the amazing. Look at that the water. You know, and, you know, and it looks like some of those cars, uh, there's a car behind that, uh, one of those semis, it looks like the brake lights are on. Now, there aren't wow. people in those cars, are there? Well, we're not aware that there's anybody in Sadly, the car. Sadly, there could be there coming were people from electrical in those cars. short of so much Remember, water. Remember, I told you, know, these cars are that interstate now. was yeah. full of yeah. people. Uh, but and that certainly is now, what we hope has happened. some people made yeah. it up, I, I hope so, too. Uh, again, you, you know, you but have buildings find that out are, later uh, that as you can see, uh, 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 that are floating down in the interstate just like automobiles are. So what we're saying to people is to stay off of the road. It is extremely dangerous. Uh, we are at max calls responding, and um, I want y'all to take a look at uh, that. You cannot right here. determine that uh, looks just like in, a river, uh, doesn't it? Car, how deep the water is, or how fast it that's what flowing. I thought, so it is extremely dangerous and that's what and I natural. saw that day. Uh, so we're asking people, and as we see, uh, it wasn't. Point, yes, this is the area that you saw underwater that day. And those buildings back there, they're probably. One of the buildings you see floating up the interstate, and this is the soccer field. And there's a f baseball field in the back, too. And these signs that we're panning towards, those signs that were there were knocked down by that building. So, I mean, that day, when I was told that there was not a river in Antioch, what alerted me to the fact that or, or asking that question was the way that the birds were acting. They were acting really weird. And in nature, many animals that live in the surrounding area, if they're used to... So those birds knew something was not right, and they knew that something was out of line, and they knew that water wasn't supposed to be there. Thus, I knew the water wasn't supposed to be there. Acting quickly and trying to gather as many people as I can. I, I tried to get to everybody and tried to gather everybody in an area because I knew I couldn't walk all the way up the interstate to grab, you know, everyone. So I just tried to get the people who are around me to create a path for everyone else to get out. And, you know, luckily we were able to do it. It took some time, and as we were doing it, like I, said, I, I felt the water at my feet trickling at my feet and it doesn't take much water to move a vehicle as you heard the sheriff say in the video it doesn't take much water for you to stall out it doesn't take much water for your vehicle to stop so I, I believe those people that day they really thought that they would get out in time but sadly a lot of people didn't make it I don't know if anyone was rescued I know some people were standing on top of their car so they probably made it out but yes, that's, that's definitely a day I will remember for a long time. This May 1st, 2019, being the nine year anniversary of that day. May 1st, 2010. That is a day that will live on for eternity in this Nashville area. 
many of the people who lost people or many of the people who lost major property and different things of that nature that day, they will always remember 